Hi, everybody. Welcome to another episode of A Week on the Wrist. We're looking at the Baume Mercier Clifton Baumatic Cusk. There's quite a bit of interesting new technology, uh, new to both Baume Mercier and uh, relatively new for the Richemont group to be found in uh, this particular wristwatch. Of course, the most significant is the use of uh, silicon components. The uh, Baume Mercier Clifton Baumatic Cusk uses the caliber BM12 1975A. This movement has in it a silicon balance spring, also a silicon lever and silicon escape wheel. Now the use of these uh, silicon components offers very, very significant uh, advantages over uh, metal components. They are not affected by magnetism and uh, silicon balance springs uh, don't exhibit the same sort of aging effects that we see in Nivarox type balance springs as well. So theoretically, these should hold a much, much better rate over a long period of time. And of course, they shouldn't be affected by magnetic fields either. This is a chronometer level wristwatch with up-to-date modern components that offers a five-day power reserve, and it's all in a very wearable package. The case is 10.3 millimeters thick. It's 40 millimeters in diameter. The dimensions are uh, pretty much in the Goldilocks zone for anyone who wants a wristwatch that's a comfortable, easy to wear, daily wear watch that uh, makes a little bit more of a visual impression than you know a classic 36 millimeter vintage watch would. We have uh, very, very uh, sharp, thin, uh, lancet-shaped hands, very slim, dagger-shaped markers. There's a crosshair on the dial, which adds to the impression of a watch that's oriented towards accuracy and that's really designed to be a precision timepiece. There's a date window, uh, love them or hate them. Uh, they are useful and uh, lots of people uh, seem to prefer to have them rather than not have them, simply because it's a great additional piece of information. Of course, the problem with date windows is that uh, depending on the size of the watch relative to the size of the movement, it can really look like a little bit of an afterthought. But in this particular case, I think the date window is quite well integrated. Overall, this feels like a very new, interesting, relatively new direction for Baume Mercier. This watch does come in non-chronometer certified versions as well, and we've got two of them here, one with a white dial and one with a black dial. As you can see, these are a very, very attractive wristwatches as well. $27.50 for the non-cosc version and $29.90 for the cosc version. The feeling that you get when you look at this watch, the feeling you get when you have it on your wrist, really feels almost more an instrument watch than a dress watch, which I think is entirely appropriate for a version of this timepiece that comes with the COSC certification. But I think that the slight extra premium is well worth paying if you're the sort of person who finds himself drawn to the whole enterprise of precision timekeeping.